boys and girls, I'm back at it. It's Monday morning, 10 minutes to 7. I'm heading to Sherwin Williams. It's not Sherman Williams, by the way, it's Sherwin. Anyway, side note. Um, going back to, um, I'm gonna go get some paint. I'm gonna go paint those walls that we built. Got the sheetrocker finished up Saturday, and um, he says it's ready for paint, so I'm headed over there now. Worked at the mill all weekend, so I'm freed up today to go over here and do this. Um, I'm gonna try to get at least two coats in today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some primer on the wall. I got about a thousand square feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put that first coat of paint on, and then while that's drying, I've got a couple little things I can do. I got one light switch I need to wire up, put the smoke detector in, and then I need to um, hook the power up. Just you know, give it power. Everything's wired up. I just need to make the final connection. And then after I do that. I'm hoping by then that'll be a couple of hours since I first started painting. I'll jump back in and start um, doing another coat. And I'm not sure how many coats it's going to need. You know, normally I would probably prime it and put two coats of paint on there, but I want this to blend with the existing paint. And it doesn't look like they um, put three coats on the wall. So maybe, maybe where I match up with the other walls, I'll put two coats and then the three coats on my stuff. Um, and then tomorrow, if I get all this done today, tomorrow I've got two interior doors to install and some trim to put down. And then, you know, the cover plates. And that should wrap this job up, unless there's something that I can't, that I'm not thinking of, which a lot of times there is. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about with tomorrow is I'm not sure if the door openings, the, the rough openings are wide enough. I, felt sure when we were doing it that I had the right measurements, but I, I got the doors made at a different place. So I might have to take my little skill saw and, and um, open her up a little bit, but that, that shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, that's the plan for today is painting, 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 and more painting all day long. Get that done, which I don't mind painting. I just, I'm just kind of wanting to get it done because I got to go back into the mill tomorrow night. So I got two full days and then after that I'd have to come over here after I got a little sleep in. But hopefully I can wrap this job up in the next two or three, four days at the most. Um, but I'll check back in and just kind of update you as I go. Appreciate it. All right. Real quick. So what am I to paint? Got that wall. This wall coming through here. And then in here, that's inside of a closet. And then that little wall and the back side of this wall. So I'm gonna prime it and get two coats of paint on it. I don't think I'll get three coats today, but that's what's got to be done. All right. Got one coat of primer on. Took me exactly two hours and 15 minutes and two gallons. Now you can see right through it, but it sucked that, it sucked that primer up pretty good. I, I felt like I got it on there good, but it's just, that drywall is just drinking it. So anyway, from the time I started cutting it in, like I said, two hours and 15 minutes. Um, now granted, just for the record, I didn't cut in in here in this closet. I just didn't see the need. I mean, I'm just putting primer on. Now I'm gonna cut it in with the finished paint. Boy, you can see it with that light on it. You can't see it with the flash off. But anyway, um, I am gonna cut it in with regular paint. But just as far as a time frame, if anybody's curious, it's right at, I think it's just under a thousand square feet. Might, might be under, I'm gonna measure. Might be more like 800. But two hours and 15 minutes and two gallons almost exactly. I'm, I just barely got about a cup full of paint left. And I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, at least two hours. Of course, it's been two hours, but a little bit longer. And then I'll put a coat of the good stuff on. All right, I'm all done. I got a coat of primer on the walls and I got a one coat of um, whatever, fresh paint. Still a little wet. Um, I, 
it's going to need a second coat of the good paint. But anyway, it took me two hours to cut in the second coat because I was, you know, a little more um, careful up top and I still didn't do fabulous. Um, but anyway, I'll cut it in again maybe tomorrow or the next day, paint again. But, um, two hours to cut it in and one hour to paint all the walls. So that's that. Got that wall painted, that wall painted. Down through there and here and then this wall. Like I said, it just took so long to cut it in. I was kind of surprised because I didn't have any windows or doors to cut around. I mean, I know there's two doors. I had to cut around them since the casing's not in there. But it is what it is. Um, and while the primer was drying, I wired this switch up. It's got about four wires in there. So it, I mean, it didn't take too long. Um, and I got the smoke detector hooked up. I now have power, hooked the power up, so that fan I hooked up the other day, I got power on that. This light I hooked up the other day, got power there. All the receptacles have juice on them now. But they just got to be careful because I got the covers off. Um, and that already had power. I did that the other day too. So man, I'm getting there. Get these two doors in. Like I said, I'm not sure I got enough room in between here or at the top, so I may have to take my skill saw and trim this sucker up. It ain't gonna be fun. Mm. But anyway, it's always something. I'll figure it out. I'm thinking that it might be an extra two by four I put in there. It'd be nice if I could just pull that out. I don't know. But that's all for today. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go buy some trim so I'll have that ready to roll. The place that's got my doors is closed right now, so I'll go by there first thing in the morning and um, get that taken care of. Get them doors when I get here tomorrow. I'm going to probably go ahead and put them doors in and then maybe put a coat of paint on if I have time. I just want to get them doors out of the way. I'm kind of anxious to get those in and see how good they're going to do. All right, that's all for today. All right, I'm gonna try to show this real quick. This is my, I don't know, five-in-one tool, something like that. Got this from the Idaho Painters um, website. But anyway, <clears throat> this right here is a really neat part of it I like. You know, this is for opening up the can, whatever, scraping, I guess cleaning out the edge of the paint can, but this cleans their roller off. <clears throat> like he said, I'm really surprised and how much paint is left on this roller. I usually just take a water hose and start spraying it off, but check this out. Hope I'm getting this. I hope you're able to see this. <clears throat> I really want to show this to my mother. She does a lot of painting. It's helped me a lot with some painting. Painted a whole condo for me one time. But anyway, look at all that paint coming out of there. Would have been wasted. Not to mention it's easier to clean up. You don't get it everywhere. <clears throat> it's still going. I'm trying to do it without flicking it. But I guess you get the point by now. This is a really neat tool. It cost me a few bucks. Like I said, there's a lot of other features on it. Opening up paint cans. Um, kind of a scraper and a that little thing getting in grooves. That's about it, but a lot of paint left in there. And now, Shop. 
stick it up in there. Hope they don't get everywhere. Just kind of flings it all in the bucket and set all over the meat. Cleaning that off. Just thought that was worth mentioning. <laughs>